my name's Dale, and I want to go over the uh, new tools for quad meshes. And um, I got an image here, and I've got a layer, and I haven't done anything. So I'm going to go to my point selection tool, make sure I have it on sharp, sharp corners. It's really not necessary, but then I have auto weld, and I even have auto fill. And the first thing I'm going to do for this image is I'm going to make a box around it. Now, there's my box, and I know it's filled. Now, I want to turn around and cut off the window, the front here, the front here, the side. So I'm going to make a bunch of boxes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, here, and here. Well, I made my first box. Now, I want to extend everything out. So this is a square... And I'm going to go out here and make this a square. So now <coughs> I've broken the rules because I have two points and I'm only allowed to have four points in a box. So this one solution is to drag it down. The other solution, well, let's drag this down like this and like that. Now I want to carve off the front here. The front there, the side there. Now I got all this space here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, these points, and I want to move them closer to the side of the car. And <clears throat> notice I have multiple, more than four points in this section, so I got to do something about that. Now, one thing I could do is go like that. Now it's back in with the rules of points. Oh, wait a minute. I have extra point here. So I'm going to turn around and drag this up and make another square. Now i got all squares. And I want to bring this a little bit closer. Okay. And I'm going to do it for the top and the bottom, too. Bring these guys up. Grab them. Bring them down, those points down, grab the points on across the bottom, and bring them up. Okay, close enough. And then I'm going to go over here and double click and image. And you notice it says none. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to come here, okay, and there's this little tool right here. Okay, I'll click on it. It says, more and more shapes are not valid. Now, it's telling me the outer edge. Okay. So let's do this. Let's get rid of all the shapes. Okay. Now I'm going to look at, closely look at this. That's a quad. That's a quad. I'm filling these. That's a quad. That's a quad. Let's hide the car for the moment. That's a quad. That's a quad. That's a quad. That's a quad. Three, four. That's a quad. That's a quad. That's a quad. Now well, let's go back to this guy. Let's see what he says. Hey! Now there's something about the program. Even though we had all quads, you um, get rid of the fills, put the fills back in. And then hit the tool, and now magically it seems to work. Okay, so let's go on the timeline. Oop. Let's first attach the image to the quad mesh. So I want to go back up here. Hey, now I get layer one. I'm going to click apply. Okay. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go out a little bit, and let's see what happens. So yeah, I got the kind of control that I wanted. Now, hmm, this is one, two, three, yeah, that's a quad. So now, let's say I want to really fine-tune adjust just this section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click those points. Actually, I'm going to grab them. 
And I'm going to go in lasso mode. And I got those four points. But I want to really fine tune this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to frame zero. And I'm going to go up here. And I got this split at two. So I'm going to split that. Okay. Now I could make these into quads. And I got to check the. And of course, it's not working properly. So let's go to the fill tool and fill these and then see what happens. Nope, still not working. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the image. Oh, look at this. Okay, all these aren't working either, according to this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to eliminate all the boxes. And I'm going to go back and refill them with the paint tool. Okay. What's happening is the paint tool is actually making a shape each time I do this. And that's what the... Oh, I see a mistake. I see two mistakes. You see this? Here's a point. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Can't have that. So what I'm going to do here... Is, oh, look at the squiggly line I get. Then, you go here, and that straightens out everything, but you can see where it's saying there's issues here. So what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to go back through and delete all this stuff. And, oh, I still have one extra point here. See this? That's a box of five. Now it's been split. Now let's see what the tool says. I'm going to try it one more time. Okay, I, I, I got two splits here. So I got to go back up with the point tool. And point there. And point there. And I'm going to zoom in on this because I got a sneaky suspicion. See, I have an extra point here. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to press delete. And I deleted it. So now let's see what the tool says. Oh, I got the mesh control again. And turn that off, turn off the vision on the mesh. And as you can see, I've got everything working again. But let's say. I really want to zoom in on just this one part. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to split something like right here. I got one, one, two, three, four points. And I'm going to hit split. Again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go triangle 2D mesh. Now watch, look what happened. I triangle, triangulated everything. Control Z. I don't want to do that. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to split this by, so let's say 10. And I'll split it. And I'm going to hit Triangle 2D Mesh. Now, I took all my quads and made them into triangles. So, but I'm going to do it one more time because I really want to control this space in here. I got it on 10. I'm going to split them in 10. And draw and I'm trying. Now you can see how it's starting to concentrate on the triangles right in the area that I want to work with. So let's go down timeline. 
and let's start moving these, this stuff around. See, now I've got all these triangles here, no more quads, but I got more control into the the spot I want it. So that's something you can do. You can turn around, turn your quads into triangles, and then get more control. And another thing you can do is like, well, look at all this extra lines. So let's go through and delete some of this stuff. Now remember, I got to still keep those quads. Mm -hmm. And let's see. It still works as a mesh. Because I got everything. Now let me go back one more time. And let's really screw with this okay, by deleting a point like this. All right, now I've got all these extra points. Now let's see what happens. This area is no longer no longer part of the mesh. Okay, and that's what happens. All right, I hope this is useful. Okay, and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.